This is an Ambazonian Communication Network documentary presented by Capo Daniel, the spokesperson of the Governing Council. Good morning, fellow televiewers on the AECN Television Network. Welcome to another episode of the No Pony Talk Show. In, in the making, of history made already. This is a show where we will talk the people's language for Biafra and the people's language for Ambazonia, the Pidgin English. And I'm me, Kapo Daniel, who's host. So I'll play this music and welcome everybody. And we'll go straight into this topic today, which is very, very important and very, very critical. Welcome to another documentary. This time in Cambodia, join me, Kapo Daniel, the spokesperson of the Governing Council, and our comrade, the, the SG of the ADF, and uh, a chair lady of Sokadev. We just finished uh, a summit where we met a lot of people. Let's, we want to drive around to take you, as I had promised, any place where I go, I'll be on the eye. So I will take you now for some village for inside uh, Thailand for Siem Rip. They call the place now Siem Rip. You get a place where they call it a floating village. The floating village is there about, uh, there about 40 uh, minutes drive away from the city from Siem Rip. So we'll take you now, we'll go out, out, out of the city, go right to the village area, we're gonna go see how similar this place is there with Ambazonia. And it'll be very inspiring if it really gives we a better way of how to build our own economy and for build our own city. So now follow we join we may go for the floating village. As soon as we see I'm the gay thing, we're not quite on a store place and that's for around as we pass it. So we'll take one for the floating village. Now see they are locally made moto them that truck where they, they drive and the moto. So we we'll go go for the village, a floating village where we miss the thing they dinner on top water. Float, floating village where people they stay for floating village, they, they go for floating school, they, they go worship for floating temple and floating churches. So then get in a floating restaurant. I will take you and go for the maybe we'll go see this wonders. Very incredible place. And their villages look like Ambazonian. Since the journey long, we stop halfway for chop and also for see some very interesting uh, innovation. When I see the research Chaco. <laughs> the research Chaco, but very interestingly now the motor we did them convert them for make them for make up a set of Chaco. So they want a half place it delay where you travel long distance place where you go chop, you go stop halfway, you chop them. You chop before you go, so that stuff for take for chop. I discover all kind kind chop them here. And some boys, see how they are so cute. Right? <laughs> yeah. Very nice, sir. I want to have a baby, kind uh, Cambodian baby. <laughs> wow. So they say chop them too for corner roll a wee. Very surprisingly, the people they say frog, born in frog, roasted frog. <laughs> What's that? Frog. Isn't that a frog? Yeah. Okay, tell me why exactly I would want to eat a frog in my life. <laughs> a frog. How much? But you're not eating it. Yeah, I'm not. I just see my <laughs> How much? Uh, she said two dollar and a half. Two dollar and a half. I don't eat frog. <laughs> I never eat frog. Wow, okay, I'll eat it. Oh, we'll taste or no? You can try it. You can try it. Me? You can try the frog. <laughs> we have come to Cambodia, they don't taste it. Yeah, taste the frog. You've eaten crocodile. So you might as well. Why? Why do you eat? Because it's delicious. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, it's delicious. So finally, we got our order. We ordered chicken uh, and uh, fish. And uh, we did not eat frog. We didn't try frog. 
So we, we had a wonderful time to eat and get uh, nourished and revitalized before we go to the floating village. The people just stop from here, then yeah. they are leaving from Zimbabwe and go to Phnom Penh and then driving a long way. Oh, so here. long way, like you are yeah. driving long way. This one yeah. is like a Makenene. Yeah. Point mm. the video here. This one, they like their Makenene or yeah. halfway, halfway drive. We go here from Zimbabwe to Phnom Penh, it's 3 and 15 hours. No, Minutes. 315 kilometers. Oh, so it's quite it, far. You yeah. can even sit there, look at, look at the bed. Continue the trip. So you can even lie there on the bed. I can lie there, right? Mm. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you know, this means that the Cambodia people are very relaxed. Yeah. Yeah. If you can have no this facility stress. like that to public, it means that they are very relaxed people. You can just come and sit, pay a little bit of money to eat on the road, lie down and smoke ganja. <laughs> yeah. The smoke ganja here, Wheat, the smoke, uh, wheat, wheat, yeah. free, it's not legal. Uh, so what do we have? Water. Oh, you want beer? I noticed like when we go to drink anywhere, they put so many. You, you, can, uh, you have choice. Oh, you can choice. You, have choice. you pay only for one you your choice. Which one that you drink, you have okay. to pay. Which okay. one that you pay not drink, you don't have to pay. Oh. But I don't know what it says here, yeah. except the, fact, the size. This looks like okra. Get you, eat me. Local food. See, okay. this one looks like okra. Point the video here. This looks like okra. You use this one to eat with the fish or the chicken. You don't read what you have. Amen. Wow, see, rice can be that kokoli. Uh, very natural, very organic, very nice. So, how do you eat with rice? You can eat with uh, spoon. Spoon. But they eat with hand also? Yeah. I yeah. want to see we how enjoy. you eat with the hand. Yeah. Enjoy. Because it's just yourself. You go for hand. Uh, you can do. Sorry, yeah. Uh, you can do like this with okay, chicken. Chicken or fish if you want, like like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's go to the floating village. Floating city or floating village? Floating village. So we hired a boat. For the three of us, uh, our resource person and guide could not follow us, Mr. Mia. So we have to go by ourselves and look at this incredible, fascinating floating village. Let me say, village where they on top water, people they, they live inside water. So maybe we will see them. And I think we are done see for movie. There are like a lot of famous movie in this area. Let's go and take a watch. <laughs> look at simple technology. This thing is for make up for for mix cement. Maybe they don't convert and do they can turn their boat there. So we we'll start to go, we we'll see village where water, people where they stay inside water system. Me go enter, me go na take eye, chop Christmas. Gonna see, wonder shall never end. People they, they stay for inside water. Hey. Human being don't turn a crocodile. Them gonna see. Em. So gonna see how they be suspended over water. People them be house long long pillar. They carry house over water. They, they stay them for them normally. You do because stand on top of your water, talk to your neighbor, neighbor. Good morning. They say turn to your neighbor and say good morning. I say they gonna see. They get their temple, everything on top of water. Floating village. People ready to stay on top of on top water. Hey, God, would I take eyes chop Christmas? So this 
be the only random person at the health center that night hospital that way in a floating hospital <laughs> on top water make a go stand on top the kenu make already see very well at the place it day so different so this is life here there are love stories there are neighbors fairer there are hello everybody is happy everybody is smiling now somebody backside that and another man in front door <laughs> somebody's backside is another person's front door ah, beautiful so then inside water they go far far right far you get one of the biggest lake for inside asia would enter water people that they stay in inside water they go they go beautiful place so all this place have hundreds of people i think if not thousands of people living here they even have firewood there If somebody was to give you land here, it's a floating village. Everything is above water. You see firewood every day. Some of the houses even have firewood. So the Godan device way for cook on top uh, firewood way, you know, go burn house. Very incredible, fascinating. Look at the young kids. They may not have football, but they have uh, fishing. <laughs> Don't you think it's annoying living here and tourists just come and video everybody taking videos of you? <laughs> <laughs> it can be very annoying, yeah. Out of the blue, we just see some church for the middle of the water. Very interesting. Wow, in the middle of all this water, there is a church. This is amazing. This is amazing. This is just amazing. So beautiful. Talking about where the grass is too poor to wash with this water. Let's go. 
You need help? Okay, let me find out how a church appears here. There is Korean and Cambodia church, Cambodia flag. Hallelujah. Nobody? Hello? Hello? Anybody here? Nobody here. And it's a church. No, no, no. That one is probably the office. Yes, so. No, that one is Christian church. This is Christian church. Church is Christian. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Church and there is Bible here. In Tamil, in a uh, Khmer. Bibles. Wow. This is lovely. The cross. So I can make my prayer here. Let me pray for Amazonia. Okay, that's good. Nobody's there, good, good. but at least the presence of a church is big. We are heading back. Look at their bright smile. Very nice people, hard and happy people. Finally arrived. So our trip has been completed. Although we will not be going rich for the big leg, we will go for dinner. One of the biggest legs dinner for Asia. But at least we don't go see the floating village, place where people really stay under water. I would not come back and uh, we will continue for the be on the eye, the share on the experience across the globe. Every place we go, Ambazonia either end up the day, or too good to follow we step by step for any place we go. Captain! Captain! Bye bye! So now the end for this documentary, now a production of the Ambazonian Communication Network, the communication department of the Ambazonian Governing Council. Freedom, independence or nothing. Be inspired.